The launch of the universal health coverage in Kenya in Kericho tomorrow will mark the latest attempt by the government to avail accessible and affordable health care to the masses. The last attempt to have Kenyans access this was during the second term of President Uru Kenyatta that did not work as envisioned. Brenda Wanga takes a look at the journey of the UHC in Kenya. The pomp and color that followed the launch of the country's first ever attempt to provide accessible and affordable health care to our citizens in 2018 perhaps provided much hope and enthusiasm for those who previously found it hard to get health care when they needed it. UHC was piloted in four counties with the larger plan being a rollout to the other 45 counties once the program had taken root. The range <coughs> of essential health, health services will include emergency services, child health services, maternal health services, mental health services, infectious disease management, non-communicable disease management, inpatient and outpatient services, and community health services. Kisumu, Isiolo, Machakos and Nyeri were the four counties chosen as guinea pigs for this ambitious project. Each of the four counties picked for a unique reason. Isiolo County for high maternal mortality rates, Kisumu due to its high prevalence of HIV and malaria, and Machakos for high cases of road accidents. The UHC program was anchored on a two-phase medium-term approach. The first phase aimed to abolish all user fees at the local health centers and the county referral hospitals. The second phase was meant to have seen the rollout of a social health insurance scheme through the National Health Insurance Fund, NHIF. The rollout in the four counties indeed showed the need for the coverage, with the government increasing the number of community health volunteers and workers and revamping community health units. Visits to health care centers by the residents increased, with the Ministry of Health putting the number of visits to 3.2 million in just one year. But when we introduced UHC, the number surged. I do remember that even during that period of time, I think there was one time we did... Um, we did run a medical camp in Karatina, and one day alone, the sp we had given buses to go all over the county. All in one day alone, we, were, we, we saw 13,000 people who were all sick and we couldn't handle. The UHC program did not live to see its second birthday in nearly all the four pilot counties. Only Isiolo and Machakos limped to its uneventful conclusion. Kisumu was a non start from the beginning and Nyeri eventually terminated the pilot due to financial constraints. That money uh, was given. The county government of Machakos expected it to continuously come. So when the money came, there were projects that were started. This pro some of these projects has, uh, has, have stalled. There are facilities that have not been completed, having been started by USC. And uh, the supply of commodities at that time was good. But once the, the support was stopped or discontinued, then uh, shortages hit the counties that were pilots. The really didn't, national government did not seem to have a clear roadmap for UHC. So looking at it, we simply realized that uh, it was doomed uh, from the start and we needed to be a little bit organized. Indeed, the pilot counties decried the lack of funds as the key reasons as to why the project failed. That, alongside the lack of accountability in governance of the program, also contributed to its short life. The current government says it has learned from the past and is keen to get it right this time round. You know, it's only a fool who does not learn from others' experiences. So based on the past three attempts by the national government to do UHC and it failed, we have learned tremendous lessons. One of them is legislation that they were trying to do it, but outside the existing Health Act, outside the existing legislation. So we have brought four bills into Parliament. The legislative framework under the new dispensation of the universal health care will, amongst other things, anchor the legal and institutional framework for health care in Kenya by repealing the current NHIF fund and establishing in its place the primary health care fund, the social health insurance fund, and the emergency, chronic, and critical illness funds, effectively addressing the pitfalls that were financing. That it does not fail. I have planned myself as a minister, it will not fail. I want to assure Kenyans, it will not fail. What UHC means to the person of 
chuele ni kwamba tumeleta afya nyumbani but aside from the legal backing the county is learning from the past mistakes say the national governments must increase their budgetary allocation to health docket and ensure the funds are devolved as a function increase the human resource and streamline the referral systems especially from county to national level hospitals brenda wanga citizen tv